It's all about shrimps, simply shrimps. Good day everybody and welcome to this video. So it's another week and another move day. So Alan McCrayfish has settled in quite nicely in his new home. He's hiding at the back at the moment but he does come out when the nightlight comes on and he does have the occasional roam around, so that's brilliant. Um, so as I said, this is another move day video for the rest of my fish. Going to add some cleanup crew, so some bristle nose, some Siamese algae eaters to hopefully get rid of some of the biofilm and the algae that's growing on the wooden rocks. So let's get them over now. Right, this is our old tank. Uh, excuse the mess because I kind of turned it into a little quarantine tank before putting them in the big tank. So I dewormed them and gave them a load of medication to make sure they were all free of uh, any nasties before putting them in the big tank. So there's a little bit of sand but I tried to siphon it all out left at the bottom and uh, a little bit of waste as well. And obviously I've had the net in so it's uh, made all the debris kind of float around. So it doesn't look the cleanest tank at the moment but it was all right. Anyway, on with what I was gonna say. The bristle nose are proving to be quite a pain to get because I made this DIY live rock background and they're only small bristle nose. They're only probably like an inch and a half, two inches big at the moment. And they've managed to wriggle in the gaps here and it's making it near on impossible to catch them. And they're getting in the corners and I can't get in there with a net. And if I do, the net ends up snagging because the Lava rock is quite rough. So I'm gonna to have to come up with a different game plan on how I'm gonna get them out. But for the moment, I've left them in there and I might try again in a little bit if they come out from hiding. However, I did manage to catch the other free swimming fish. So I've got the black ghost knife fish, two Siamese flying foxes or algae eaters, and a green severum. So I've got them drip acclimating at the moment. You see the tube just about here dripping quite fast but an okay rate so probably three or four drops a second there and follow the tube up same as last time really with Alan I've got it going in the top of the tank there you can just about whoop, see the end in there so the water's coming out there down the tube whoop, whoop, and into the bucket so they're acclimating away quite nicely to their new water parameters so I'll leave it about 45 minutes, an hour, and then I'll get ready to put them in the new tank. I just love the way the black ghost knife fish swims around. It's almost hypnotic. Alrighty then, so the first to go in is my black ghost knife fish, and I measured him up. He's about seven inches or 18 centimeters. So that's a good reference to know in future how big he was when I first put him in. So let's not stress him out anymore, and let's release him. I assume he's gonna go straight into hiding because they are more of a nocturnal fish. There we go. Boom, blended right into the background. Okay, so the next fish I'm gonna put in is both the Siamese algae eaters or flying foxes at the same time. So they're gonna dart around like crazy, I assume. No, just straight down and relaxing and chilling on the rocks. And finally from this batch of fish is gonna be the green severum. So I'm gonna put him in nicely. Or her, I haven't actually been able to sex him yet. There we go. And I love how much character this fish has got. Just come right to the front already. And then off to explore. All right, so by the power of film editing and time travel, it's been about a month since the last video clip you just saw. All the fish have settled in really well. And now I'm going to be adding my last and final batch of fish. So let's get them out of the smaller tank like I did the others and put them in, introduce them to their new home. The easiest way I think it's going to be to catch them because I'm not going to be adding any more fish into this tank 
is to actually drain the tank a fair bit so they've got less area to swim around in and should be easier to catch. Also they've all been medicated up so they shouldn't have any parasites or worms or anything nasty like that. So let's go ahead and siphon out the majority of the water. Let's go ahead and catch these little dudes and dudettes out. Oh my goodness, so we've just got them all in the bucket now, ready to be acclimated. Uh, that's a good question actually. Would you say acclimated or acclimatised? I was having this debate with my manager at work the other day, so acclimate or acclimatise? Let me know in the comments section below. Uh, but bless her little cotton socks, this little female bristle nose here, she was putting up a bit of a fight. She got wedged in the lava rock at the back and uh, I was trying to get her out. I didn't want to stress her out too much but she did damage her fins ever so slightly so I'll be keeping a close eye on her over the next few weeks and hopefully well I think she will be able to recover and her fins will grow back nice and strong. I've got the acclimating process happening just like last time got the end in there coming out and down here into the bucket so there it is dripping away getting them used to the temperature and the water parameters uh, so let's go ahead and go over what we've got in here. So we've got a red spot severum there, lovely specimen. We've got 10 in at work and obviously being an employee at work as one would be, uh, I got first pick so I chose this one, it's got awesome markings on it and if anything they're going to get better as it gets older. So beautiful red spot severum there. We've got a bunch of peppered Corydoras. I mean, I got a fair few, about nine of them, just so I could have a nice school size. I mean, I really don't think Corys are done justice when people buy three of them. I think you need a good six or seven to actually appreciate the schooling behavior of the Cory fish. Uh, we also have an Uaru here. It's a young coloration at the moment, but it will morph as it gets older into a beautiful fish. Uh, and we've got, we managed to actually get some of the uh, uh, bristle nose plex out, so we've got a male here, you can tell by the bristles on his nose and as I mentioned earlier on we've got this lovely female here who shall recover up nicely. And finally as well to help clean up some of the algae we have some pandagaras, four of them beauties there and they are great so they stay smaller than the bristle nose plex which is brilliant because be, they'll be able to get into all the nooks and crannies and on the leaves and things to clean them up nicely whereas the bristle nose might not be able to get in there. So a nice selection of fish there and I shall leave it 45 minutes to an hour. Alrighty then, so these guys are nicely acclimated and they're ready to be added into the big tank. Let's do it! First off we're going to be adding the red spot severum. And here you go. Voila, you're free my beauty. Ooh, the other Severum's checking them out. Now we're going to be adding the Uwaru. And you go. Ooh. It looks so tiny. Bless it. Now we just did a big scoop of the bucket and got a load of Corys and Pandagaras. And a bristle nose, so let's put them all in. Woohoo! And the last slot, the last bristle nose, and one more quarry. There we go. So that's the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm probably going to be doing a better montage video in the future of all the fish that are now in this tank, so stay tuned for that. If you did like this video, then don't forget to whack that thumbs up. 
Subscribe for more content coming out soon. As I said, there'll be video updates on the fish I've put in here. And leave a comment below if you've got any questions about any of the fish I have put in, then don't be afraid to ask. And I'll see you in another video. See you later. It's all about shrimps, simply shrimps. Let's keep things simple, simply shrimps. Do 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 do. Yeah!